over here, man. I don't even know the name of this town, to be honest with you. Uh, park here, man. I'm about to take this truck out. Make sure, make sure it's good to go. Oh, what's the word of today? I swear. What is the word of today? Um, we don't have no word of today. And shoot, little inspiration, man. I uh reached out to the Facebook group of Rail, man, and uh, I wanted to get a lot of people's opinion on leasing a truck with Rail. <sighs> I got an overwhelming response. A lot of people uh, engaged in the conversation. And it was, it was good to see both sides. It looks like everybody's handling their business. That's good. Um, I'm probably going to embark on it, you know what I mean? I mean, it's just a... Uh, oh, man, got cut off there. For a second but yeah like i was saying i'm probably going to embark on it because uh i'm going to you know at the end of the day you have to find stuff out for yourself with the responses that i got from the uh question that i posted i got people saying you should do it i got people saying you shouldn't do it um you know, I did the same thing before I got into trucking. And uh, I was given the same responses. Some people said, don't join rail because you're not gonna get that many miles. Man, got cut off again. But it's a lot of people that say, like I was saying, they say, you know, don't join rail. You're not gonna get that many miles. But at the end of the day, man, I ain't gonna lie, like shoot, people said I wasn't, gonna make that much money in the beginning but when I first started with rail like I think my first check was close to a I think close to a thousand dollars so you know the people was telling me I'm gonna make only like 500 and 600 because I don't know the roads and all that stuff so when I asked when I when I asked this question on the Facebook page for rail it just with all the responses that I got, it just made me believe like, man, everybody drives different. Everybody got their own situations. And it's like, yeah, there's people that's out there, uh, there's, people that, 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 there's people that's out there managing their business right. Shout out to Manny, uh, he hit me up. You know, I'm gonna I'm I'm keep on reaching out to him, man, because it sounds like he's managing his business pretty well and he, he loves leasing with the company. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know it was somebody that responded that said they had to go back to company because they, I guess they felt like they weren't making no money. And it's like, man. And then I had a, um, there was a girl, I, I can't remember her name, but she said she's doing quite well. And then I have another person that say, hey, it's not worth it. It's not worth it, don't do it. Man, you know, at the end of the day, you can only do you can only do it for yourself and figure it out for yourself. If it don't work out for you, it don't work out for you. So uh, I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm on my way to Marshfield. I'm actually gonna lease the truck that I'm already in. Uh, I was on the waiting list like months ago. I think I was number 15, but now and then when I called him again, I was number four. So I was like, hey, can I just lease the truck that I'm in? And it was el el it's eligible for to be leased, so I mean that's good. So I'm gonna take advantage of this situation. I know it's more money out there. Uh, I'm gonna keep y'all posted, man. I'm gonna make videos on this lease, this lease uh, journey that I'm about to take. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and lease for real, man. I can't listen to nobody no more. Uh, I answered that question for a reason. I really wanted to find out the pay because at the end of the day. I mean, of course, we are here to make money. We got families to take care of. So it's like, you know, am I really gonna get, 
get paid more than company. Uh, and I don't know the driving style of the people that responded. So it's, it's kind of hard to say. Even the ones that downed it, I, I don't know their driving style. But the ones that was, obviously there's a, uh, there's a way of managing your business. And there's also a, how can I say, a strategy. So uh, one guy mentioned in a post uh, he does a loop, which is like a triangle, which I know owner operators, that's fully owner operated and not with the company, they do it all the time. So I'm gonna find this loop. I'll probably, uh, com I'll probably uh, reply to his message, like what's that loop? But at the end of the day, man, this is another step for me to get up to where I'm trying to be, man. I'm, Cause I'm gonna do this to get the, get the, get my, uh, what you wanna call, you know, get in the groove of things uh, until I get my own truck and then I own my own trucking business. Uh, Mike Lana Transport. So, you know, it's all, I'm all in the learning stages right now, man. But shoot, uh, if it's any owner operators out there that's leasing with rail, I don't mind getting advice or you know what it is that you went through or whatever but i want to learn something i don't want to talk to people that has that, that that's going to say okay it's not good for you if you say that it's not good for you or it's not going to work out you need to let me know why how many miles did you push how did you manage your business was the lows there i already know the lows are there uh, speaking to a couple of people. Um, I mean, there's a guy that's getting like 3,500 miles a week just doing the same loads and he gets paid pretty good. So if he can do it, anybody can do it. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this journey, man. I won't know until I find out for myself. But uh, I'm over here checking the truck, man. Check this out, man. Trailers that that rails got, you know, whatever. You know, you do your um, you do your pre-trip or your post-trip, I should say, because I didn't stop. You know, the new trailers come with the the see-through uh, mud flap. Uh, but you know, you gotta check these tires, man. I know they automatically air inflated, but at the same time, you just never know. I had one of these pop on me one day when I was in Atlanta on 285. And yeah, I mean, you still gotta check them. But it's all good, man. Checking this truck, this trailer. And these are the new trailers. The new trailers got this, uh, I don't know what you wanna call it. If y'all wanna let me know what this is called. I guess it keeps the doors from hitting the trailer. Um, yeah, man, I'm just checking my truck, man. Or checking the trailer, that is. So basically, I'm on my way to Marshfield. Let me flip this around. So basically, I'm on my way to Marshfield. I'm about to go meet with uh, Jeff. So I'm leasing the truck that I'm in. It's a 2019 uh, Freightliner. So there's really nothing wrong with the truck. Um, I got to get the little sensor plate fixed on it. Cause uh, the um, when I be driving, you know, it. I think it's the wiring. I don't know. But uh, the plate that I'm talking about, this little uh, sensor plate right here, it's supposed to let you know when you're close to a vehicle or whatever. But when I'm driving, that the thing says debris in the front. Ain't no debris. It be be like cut. Uh, Collision, collision, I'd be like, man, what collision? I'm not even running into it, man, that thing crazy. So I gotta get that looked at. But uh, other than that, man, I'm gonna go ahead and lease this truck. And man, I'm gonna let y'all know my journey, man. I'm gonna let y'all know what I'm going through, which is gonna be different from every other driver. So 
the stuff that y'all see that I go through ain't gonna be the same thing that y'all go through. I'm not gonna post my check, by the way. I ain't gonna post that until later on, but, cause it's not about the pay, it's about the uh, process. So I'm not gonna post what I make and all that crazy stuff. Maybe later on. But yeah, I'm out here, man. Just thought I'd make this quick video. Let y'all know what I'm doing. Y'all wish me good luck, man. And watch my watch the watch the next video. Uh, when I get to Marsh Fed, I'll make another one. Let y'all know what I went through. So for those that are wanting to lease or thought about it, hey. I'm gonna try to give you the ropes. I'm gonna try to give you the experience. I'm gonna try to give you what you're gonna be going through and how to manage your business. Uh, I'm gonna take it one day at a time and uh, we're gonna make this happen, man. I'm out, man. I'm about to go in here and eat me some chicken and rice up in this mug. Chicken and rice that I got from Kroger. I'm already starting because at the end of the day, you can't, you're gonna manage your business. You can't be eating that a lot. Man, these restaurants, I went to Taco Bell and tried to get two Supreme Tacos. I just wanted two Supreme Tacos. That's all I wanted. That junk almost came to $8. No. I can go to the grocery store and get a whole pack of meat, a whole pack of tacos with the salsa, with the jalapeno peppers, everything, lettuce, all that. Probably for under $8. And eat me like 20 tacos. I'm learning already. And if y'all see my older videos, you already know. Hey, I got that slow cooker in the truck. Not only do I have the slow cooker, uh, what else do I got? Well, nah, well this time I don't have the other extra stuff that I used to have, but I got the slow cooker in the truck, man. Throw you some chicken up in there, man. That'll last you a whole week. But anyway, I'm out, man. Y'all stay tuned for this next video. I'm headed to Marshfield. About to uh, engage on this journey, man. Y'all hit me up, man. Uh, put in the comments, man. I want to know all the owner operators that's with, that's with Rail, man. Let's let's work together. Because we a team, man. Until I get my own truck, then I'm by myself. I don't want to leave y'all hanging. I don't want to leave y'all hanging. But that's going to take a couple of, couple of days from now. But anyway, man. Hey. Keep those wheels turning. That's all I got to say. Keep them wheels turning. I'm out.